Next up, at UFC Vegas 63, they buried an all-time heavyweight. Andre Olovsky versus Marcos Rogerio de Lima is on the undercard. It's not even the featured prelim. It's just a prelim fight. Andre Olovsky, 34 and 20. 34 and you 20 You want this overall. on the main card? Your vote, your vote for all these fights is you want this one on the main card. Uh, yeah, who's what's going to be a better fight? This or Josh Freem versus Trayson Gore? Because that's on the uh, main card. I know. I think Get that one could be very exciting. Absolutely. We'll talk about that later, but I think that one could be very exciting. Heavyweights anyway, are awful, man. Absolutely Andrew awful. Is a straight up I think legend. if you weigh over 220 pounds, you should be put out the pasture, not even be a part of society. How much do you weigh, Angela? About 227. 255. Andre Lofsky is 34 and 20 overall. Four and one in his last five. He is coming off that controversial decision over Jake Collier. Marcos Rogerio de Lima is 19 and 8 overall. Three and two in his last five. And he's coming off of a close decision loss to Blagoy Ivanov. Uh, listen, Marcos is the pick. He's the more dangerous fighter here. He's got big, heavy hands. He has offensive wrestling. He's got no jujitsu off his back whatsoever. If he gets taken down, he's not going anywhere. But he can get takedowns. He can work on top. He's got big, heavy hands. So he's the pick. Andre Lofts, he's 43 years old. What worries me about Marcos as the pick is Andre Lofsky has 20 years of experience. And the reason Marcos lost that fight against Blagoy, he had the only takedown in the fight. He landed more total strikes. The and more significant strikes. The only reason he lost that fight is because he let Blagoy hold him against the cage and rack up that control time. And Andre Olovsky could literally do that exact same thing. He's a tried and true vet. He has no problem being boring. So that's what worries me that Andre could do that for sure. But I do think uh, Rogerio wins this fight. Um, eventually, Andre's going to start looking old as hell. He, I think he lost his last fight, even though I bet on him. Um, so I think he'll lose this one as well. And he was taken down a few times in that fight, which I think surprised a lot of people. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, this is this is what it is. It's a 44-year-old versus somebody that's got a, you know, five, I mean, not a 500 record, but, you know, two to, two to one ratio is wins and losses. But you mentioned, I mean, DeLima should have the power advantage and that should all, that should be all that matters in this matchup. Orlowski somehow has found a chin in his last six or seven fights. He was getting knocked out like crazy. And then at 40 years old, found his chin again. <laughs> I have to imagine in this fight, it's going to get tested. And as you mentioned as well, at some point, he's going to keep losing. I mean, he's not going to be 50 years old still on this wild street that he's on, which hats off to him. He re resurrected his career, was six of the last seven fights. But if if DeLima is is hitting him the same way that jo Jake Collier was hitting him, because Jake Collier is a, a former 185er, right? Maybe no 170. Power. I think a former all volume. one. Yeah, yeah, all volume. And he was, I mean, he had Andre split open. He was touching him whenever he wanted, pretty much. It was a close back and forth fight. If DeLima with those big right hands touches Orlowski the same way that Jake was touching him, it's going to be, I, got, I have to imagine it's going to be lights out. But we'll see what happens uh you know i'll probably be rude for andre it's hard not to root 100 yeah, but how could he not? i gotta yeah i gotta imagine that either this is a a flash knockout type situation or as you mentioned uh one of those very boring just two heavyweights against the cage just sweating and breathing all over each other for 15 minutes and uh that'll excite me but not many <laughs> very many people so um well yeah, and i'm going with delima yeah delima's not a low volume guy he does, he does move. He throws his hands. He's not a low-volume guy. Neither one of these guys are low-volume guys. So I don't think it'll be just a boring one-punch fight. If it is boring, um, it's Andre Olovsky holding DeLima against the cage. So we'll see what happens here. DeLima's going to be the pick. Again, it's probably... Don't bet anything. Yeah, it's... it's Maybe inside the distance when you, when you decision, have a, no action. When you have a 43-year-old in a fight, you don't, you don't know what the hell's going to happen. Well, you know what I am going to bet? But they this is the only prop line that hasn't dropped. Bet Online started doing uh, takedown props, and they have two different takedown props. One is, who's going to get more takedowns in this fight? And you just pick a person. The other is oh, they we'll set an actual... we'll talk about that later. The other is they set an actual line. They don't have either one for this fight. Because I I'm going to go... the two. Yeah, it's not up there. It's only, they only have eight instead of nine. As soon as that drops, I'm going to hit DeLima. I mean, we'll see what the number is, obviously. But I'm going to hit DeLima on that because Andre's not going to shoot a takedown. He's definitely not. DeLima can and will. And we just watched Andre Lofsky get taken down by Jay Collier. So when that drops, I'll take a look at it. If it's any better than minus 250, I'll probably hop on that. Uh, and, and a question for you guys for premium memberships. 
right now there's an insane amount of content for premium members. Not only do we do all our picks, we do our picks for every single round, the over and unders. We have future bets, parlay. We have so much stuff. I'm debating adding something called, um, you know, like bets to watch, bets to look for, things exactly like what I just mentioned. It's not out yet, so I couldn't possibly have placed it yet, but once I see the line uh, for most takedowns, I'm probably going to hop on that. What are you laughing at? Ezekiel said, <laughs> Marcos looks like Captain Underpants. Uh, oh, shit. Um, you must so anyway, yeah. You would have laughed. I, mean, I do know who that is. Nah, We're both on the same know. page. I, I'm, I'm not going to do Arlovsky in DraftKings. Even as a favorite, he's a terrible DraftKings play because he scores like no points whatsoever. If he wins this fight, he might score pretty well because it'll be control time against the cage. But again, we, we only have 11 fights to pick from, and I'm not loving a lot of them in DraftKings. But I will not have Andre Olovsky, potentially Marcos de Lima. But, you know, like you said, Arlovsky's chin been holding up. What do you think? Yeah, no thanks. I think this overall, this seems like a very boring card. There's a lot of fights that seem like they're going to be boring, and I hope not, but... Uh, DraftKings is going to be tricky this week. So, I mean, become a premium member and use the optimizer. It's going to be very important this week. Uh, yeah, I actually agree with that. I'm usually the pitch man, but I, I do agree with that for sure. And the optimizer lets you build up to 150 lineups. So you can build, you know, 10 if you're not going to do 150 and then just sprinkle them in a bunch of 50 fifties or double ups and you'll make all your money back. No problem. No problem. I love 50 fifties and double ups. Because I have to just be better than half the people. I, I will, 90% of the time, I'm better than half the people. Ryan Hall is uh, part of 50-50 Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody wants to chase. And, and our buddy Joe Todoro got a $60,000 payout. I know that's the goal, but 50-50s and double ups how you make consistent money. Okay, put that down. 50-50, um, baby. That was, how about that chest hair, huh? Incredible. <laughs> that explains the loss. Monkey Knife Ice Strike Line, 71 to 78. Um, Andre Olofsky has been hitting that number, but I do think it's a less, less. And I'm pretty confident in that. What do you think of the monkey knife fight strike line? Yeah, I like that less, less. Cause it's either going to be a, most likely a knockout or grappling or held against the cage. So we on picks.com slash M K F sign up, make a deposit. They will instantly match your deposit. Take that free money. Play some of these lines. The less, less here makes a lot of sense.